So orcas, of course, are aquatic, as we know. But their ancestors were terrestrial. They lived on land. How did orcas evolve to survive in the ocean? Seems hard to imagine, doesn't it, that an animal that looks like this is actually related to even toed ungulates like uh, deer, uh, cattle, and even a hippopotamus. It's the closest modern relative to, to whales. But there's been a whole range of major anatomical adaptations for living in the ocean. Yeah, and you'd think, I mean, in terms of breathing alone, what are some of the adaptations that these orca had to go through? Well, a, a big one was the evolution of the, the nostrils, which are normally on the front of the nose, in the front of the skull. They moved all the way back here, and this is actually the paired nostrils of the oh. whale on top of the skull. And of course, if you imagine that the head is here with, with tissue on it, this would be where the blowhole is up here. And so this is to enable them to go, swim quickly through the water, come up to breathe without lifting their head, which would be incredibly inefficient. So this is one of the many adaptations that allows them to be very streamlined in the water. So their nostrils traveled up their head and then up on top. They migrated over millions of years and, and that's the way they are now. Right. And then again, if we think about the hippopotamus that has feet like this, where would those feet go on an orca? Well, the front limbs, just like ours, uh, the same bones are in the four flippers of, of whales, including this orca, but the hind legs are gone. They've just uh, disappeared. There's a couple of pelvic bones, little tiny things that aren't attached to anything that still remain. The only vestige of, of the, the lower legs and, and the, that apparatus in the terrestrial mammal. And you can't help but notice these large, sharp, conical teeth that the orca has. The killer whale is the top predator in the ocean, and it can eat pretty much whatever it wants. They don't chew their food, they grasp it and tear it with these very, very sharp teeth. And with this set of uh, dental uh, weaponry, they can take pretty much anything they want in the ocean, either anything from the blue whale, the largest animal on the planet, down to very small schooling fish. 